Join us for a chance to win in tonight's Halloween Trivia. Which 2016 film directed by Robert Eggers is set in the 1630s New England and revolves around a Puritan family encountering forces of evil in the woods? Is it A. Hereditary, B. The Witch, C. Midsummer, or D. A Quiet Place? Think you know the right answer? Leave it down below in the comments now for a chance to win a $100 gift card. Is that coming from out in the f***ing graveyard? This is some weird stuff right here. Oh, what? While investigating a haunted hotel in Pioche, Nevada, we discovered a fact sheet that mentioned many deaths by violent crimes upon the town being established. 72 graves in Boot Hill before a citizen of Pioche died of natural causes. Now I'm thinking, where's Boot Hill? We decided to set out and find the cemetery in attempts to communicate with any of the people who passed in this old and forgotten ghost town. The amount of activity that we captured in this graveyard will have you shocked, to say the least. Boot Hill Cemetery has a certain section which is separated from the rest of the section, and this section is actually called Murderer's Row. Oh, this one does have a name. What is it? 1870. Holy. And it's just... George Hurst. You look and it's just a strip of graves. You know that they're just known killers, and it's crazy because the rest of the cemetery is nice and well kept. This is crazy. John Bass, 1875, shot by officers five times. They're just buried there with a pile of rocks, dirt, and like a wooden cross with a nail in it. Like, this is what you get. This one doesn't even have a name. This is unmarked. You're in an unmarked grave. How do you feel about that? Any thoughts? I'm trying my hardest not to like step on the grave, you know? Even though they were murderers and just doesn't feel right. Everyone that was a criminal pretty much was buried separate from the rest of the bodies in the cemetery. Feared by some, respected by few, shot in back, how many? Nine times? From ambush. Oh, shot in back five times from an ambush. Wow. Murderers Row just piles of dirt with a shitty fence and the other side of that fence is just desert for miles and miles. The craziest thing about these are that all of these graves are over 100 years old. Yeah. Like all of them. I mean, well over. Those are like a buck 50. Yeah. That's crazy. 150 years. It's insane. You don't hear that? That's somebody talking, right? From the houses, you think? I have no idea. Is that coming from out in the f***ing graveyard? I'm seeing all sorts of shit moving. I think the wind just blew. Yeah, yeah. Like the flags moved, yep, that thing exactly. started spinning.
Wow, look at this one. Children. Four children. You want to know what kind of creeps me out the most about this place? This right here. Fresh, fresh dirt. Yeah. Like there's no grass. You could probably dig this down three feet and hit some coffee. You hear that? You hear that? This is some weird stuff right here. There's like metal cage all around this. You know what it looks like? It looks like a giant crib, you know? What do you think about John Bass? That's, That's a good a shot. Yeah, shot, yeah, shot in the back five times. Okay. I mean, I want to set it up on like where, like it's the worst person that's probably like buried here. Maybe? Yeah. yeah, there was a name. I don't remember what the name was. Was it Hirsch? Was it back that way? No, it's actually not. Okay. So we were actually looking for a grave to set up the spirit box on and try to make communication. However, when we had our guys behind the scenes take a look at the footage, they caught something that we didn't at the time. John Bass, we'll give him a shot. We'll set it up. Shot in the back five times. We thought that that was a particularly violent way to die, so that's kind of why we went down that road. John, why are you here on this side of the fence? I'm turning the temperature on, too. Sometimes that shit goes off. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Are you a killer? Look at what? Look at what? All I heard was look. I don't like when the spirit box tells me to look. Yeah, you know? Look at what, John. Hey, John, let's play a game. My name's Casey, and this is Tanner. Can you say one of our names if you're there with us? Hey, John, let's play a game. Are you sorry? Uh -huh. John, are you sorry for what you did? Is that you, John? That is you, John. I noticed. Oh, yeah. Can you make it go down maybe two if that's you? 
can you maybe go down maybe two if that's you? Is that you, John? Like he's moving it again. Uh, negative two. John, do you want to hurt us? John, you were talking a ton a minute ago. There he is. John, don't stop talking. I know you're moving the temperature because you're closer. Talk to us. I'm bad. Did you hear that? Can you move the temperature again, John? negative five for a sec there. Did it? Oh, it dropped like two in that jump. Yeah, see how it's more solid negative four? Yeah. And then it bleeps to negative five for just a second. Well, I say we leave the spirit box running. Okay. Even while we do the okay. Ouija board, we'll just leave it right next to it. All right. If they want to say something or move something, we'll have it all. You know how like, oh, like when it's about to die, it'll slow down. But then it just, then it went crazy. John, is that you? I feel like that's not. D I think. Should we just try to talk to him? Think because I just switched it. Like Casey said, we always put fresh batteries in all of our equipment just to make sure everything's legit for every investigation. And this box was doing things I have never seen before. And it worked perfectly before that, and it works perfectly now. It's just during that time when we were investigating, trying to communicate with John, it was just doing things I had never seen before. But that just kind of makes me a little nervous. Like, it dies as we put the Ouija board down. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I'm done with you, you know? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's done with this box and he just wants to. Maybe he's ready to yeah, just by other means. Yeah, yeah, maybe he's just ready for the board. Okay, so we're both gonna be in it? Yeah, it might as well at this point. Right? All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Sorry, John. 
Let's do it. I'm stepping over the uh, the rock circle. I'm here. We're here. Okay. We had to actually step on the sides of John's grave. We're not trying to be disrespectful to the dead or anything of that nature. That it is a little bit creepy, kind of a trip when you're using the board to have somebody's body beneath you. That scared you. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Every time I've ever done this in the past, we make a pact. You're promising me that if it moves, it's not you. Yes, sir. 100%. Okay. And I'm promising you that if it moves, it is not me. You think I want it to move? I don't. Am I blinding you? You good? No, no, we're okay. good. All right, John. We're giving you permission to communicate with us right now. Now would be your time. You can move it to yes if you'd like to communicate. You can move it to no. You can spell out anything you want. If you want to give us numbers, wherever you like, we're here. You feeling that? Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm barely touching this thing. I'm trying, yeah, I don't want to break contact. No. Like you said. Keep your fingers on it, yeah. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving. That's not me, bro. Hands down. I'm just trying to hold it. Is that steady. loud? I think so. Okay. It's just moving, you know? Like, I didn't know if it was me, like, by accident, but no. It's moving. Where are we going? This is how he wanted to talk to us, huh? Yeah. Where are we going? L? No? Let's say L. L? It's still going, though. Okay, it's going to M. It's an M. For sure. Yeah. And it stopped. That's weird, bro. Okay, I don't want to break contact either. But, um, is there more? Yeah. You're, pull, you're finally... pulling it. You're pulling it, are you? Are you pulling it? Are you fucking with me? No, are you? No. <laughs> I'm not pulling it, bro. I'm barely touching it right now. And it's. I feel like I'm going to get in trouble because I'm barely touching it. Yeah, and it's like well, hovering. You're, yeah, you're supposed to barely touch. You're not supposed to put any weight on it. It's fucking going, bro. Where are we going? It's still going. It's going to C. No? B? B? Where do you want, John? C. Uh, Please don't spell my name. <laughs> oh, it's a Casey thing, huh? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't want him to spell my name. Well, I mean, my name is Bride. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. If, all right, it's not going to okay. a B. It's not going towards a B. This is fucked up, bro. It's still going. Yeah, it's still going. That's, it's weird, too, bro, because, like, it moves and stops and moves and stops, but it's like... When it really stops, it stops. You know what I mean? Like, you could feel it. Well, I think it's stopping, and then... It, like, jogs over just a hair more. Now, K, is that okay. anything? No. I don't know what that is. MCK? It's not making a lot of sense now. If it goes to C now, I'm fucked. <laughs> Brian, it got you, it got me. Stop on E. M C K E. What else? M C K E. Keep going, John. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Can you please make it move again? It's so fucking freaky that it just moved around, bro. It. I mean, I've felt it move before. I have zero experience with one of these, and it's like... Dude, I've felt it move before, and it's just disgustingly weird every yeah. time it happens, you know? Well, it's like your fingers are just hovering. It's like yeah. you're, you're not putting any weight on it, you know? You're not putting any muscle movement. It's just like it goes. It looks like it's not moving anymore. How long would you give it? We could give it a minute. Okay. Hey, John. Uh, MCKE doesn't really make sense. Can you give us something else?
can you make the EMF detector go off? If you're still here? I want to ask it anything. Ask him anything. John, can you show us you're here? Can you make the detector beep? Done with us? <laughs> That's what it feels like. Oh, you heard that? You heard something? Just like a little, like a yeah, in the metal thing. Yeah. Sound like a twitch, or like a, a stick broke or something, right? It's like the metal from the wood Oh fuck! Oh, okay. so I think that That's not there. good. Yeah. All right, let's um, let's say goodbye. We need to move it down here. Okay. Uh, John, we're leaving you now. Goodbye. This is us saying goodbye, both of our hands on the planchette. Sorry. We do not want you to follow us. We want you to stay here and rest in peace. We're out. The spirit box was acting up, acting crazy. The temperature was moving, it was turning on and off. There is definitely energy there. There's definitely activity there. Some pretty clear activity on the spirit box. And then there was movement also on the Ouija board, which doesn't happen everywhere. Some sort of message through the board, through the Ouija board. So I will say that there's definitely something going on at Boot Hill Cemetery. We definitely caught some type of moving apparition on camera while we're there. So I'm gonna say yes, I mean, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, but that was enough for me to be convinced.